Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Happy Mind, Happy Life. HM HL Double One Double Two. In India, devotion is a way of life. It is woven into the very fabric of our daily existence, influencing our actions, thoughts, and emotions. From the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, devotion guides us, providing a sense of purpose and direction. It is the heart of our culture. Festivals and celebrations are not just events. They are expressions of our deep-seated faith and reverence. Each festival, whether it is Diwali, Holi, or Navratri, is a testament to our unwavering devotion and the joy it brings to our lives. We express our love for the divine through rituals and practices. These rituals, passed down through generations, are a way for us to connect with our ancestors and the divine. They are a bridge between the past and the present, a way to honor our heritage while seeking blessings for the future. Kanda Sashti Vritam is a significant Hindu devotional observance dedicated to Lord Murugan, also known as Skanda, Kanda, or Kartikeya. Celebrated predominantly by Tamil Hindus, this six-day fasting ritual is performed to invoke the blessings of Lord Murugan, who is revered as the god of war, knowledge, and victory. The observance typically takes place in the Tamil month of Epasi, which falls around October or November. During this period, devotees fast, pray, and chant mantras with the intent of purifying themselves, gaining spiritual strength, and seeking protection from negative forces. The origins of Kanda Sashti Vritam are rooted in ancient Tamil literature and Hindu mythology. According to the Skanda Purana, Lord Murugan was born to destroy the demon Surapadman, who had tormented the gods and humanity. After rigorous penance and preparation, Murugan embarked on his mission to eliminate Surapadman and restore peace. The battle, which took place over six days, culminated on the sixth day, known as Sashti, when Murugan defeated Surapadman. This victory is celebrated as Surasamharam, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. Lord Murugan is depicted as a powerful deity with six faces, Arumugam, and is associated with the Vel, a divine spear that embodies his strength and protection. The six faces of Murugan represent his omnipresence and his ability to vanquish the six enemies of human nature, lust, anger, greed, attachment, pride, and jealousy. Kanda Sashtivritam is observed with the belief that Lord Murugan's blessings can remove obstacles, provide spiritual strength, and bring success and prosperity. Devotees believe that fasting and devotion during this period can help them overcome internal and external challenges. The fast is especially undertaken by those who wish to purify their minds, eliminate negativity, and cultivate inner peace. Vratham means a sacred vow. It is a commitment we make to the divine, a promise to uphold certain spiritual practices and disciplines. This vow is not taken lightly. It is a solemn pledge that requires dedication and sincerity. The fasting period during Kanda Sashti Vritam varies among devotees, with some choosing a full six-day fast, while others observe only the first and last days. The intensity of the fast can also differ. Nirjala Fasting Some devotees undertake a complete fast, abstaining from both food and water throughout the six days. This type of fasting is considered rigorous and is observed by a dedicated few. Partial Fasting Many devotees follow a simpler form of fasting, where they consume only fruits, milk, or a single meal in the evening. This meal often consists of simple vegetarian food without onions or garlic, which are considered rajasic, stimulating. One meal per day. Another common approach is to eat one meal a day, typically in the evening, to maintain energy while observing the fast with devotion and focus. Regardless of the method, the fast is usually broken only after the Surasamharam ceremony on the sixth day, which marks Murugan's victory over Surapadman. During Kanda Sashti Vritam, devotees engage in daily prayers and rituals, which typically include temple visits. Devotees visit temples dedicated to Lord Murugan, especially the six primary abodes, Arupadai Vedu, of Murugan in Tamil Nadu, which are revered pilgrimage sites. These temples, located in Tiruparankundram, Tiruchendur, Palani, Swamimalai, Tiruthani and Parshamudirchalai, hold special significance as they are associated with various aspects of Murugan's life and deeds. Chanting and reciting mantras. Devotees chant various Murugan mantras and shlokas throughout the day, such as the Kanda Sashti Kavasam and Subramanya Bujangam. 
The Kanda Sashti Kavasam, in particular, is a powerful hymn composed by Bala Devaraya Swamigal, which invokes Murugan's protective shield, Kavasam, to ward off evil and bless the devotees. Reading scriptures, many devotees read the Skanda Purana or specific sections that describe Murugan's battle with Surapadman, reinforcing their devotion and understanding of Murugan's attributes and purpose. Meditation and Contemplation A key aspect of Kanda Sashti Vritham is meditation on Lord Murugan's qualities, such as courage, compassion, and wisdom. Through meditation, devotees seek to internalize these virtues and cultivate a deeper connection with the deity. Sura Samharam, the culmination of Kanda Sashti Vritham. The most significant day of Kanda Sashti Vritham is the sixth day, known as Sura Samharam. This day commemorates Lord Murugan's decisive victory over Surapadman and is celebrated with grand rituals and festivities, especially at Murugan temples. The event typically includes a reenactment of the battle between Murugan and Surapadman, symbolizing the destruction of evil and the restoration of peace. At major temples, particularly the Tiruchendur Murugan Temple. The Sura Samharam event is a grand spectacle witnessed by thousands of devotees. Priests and devotees perform elaborate rituals and idols of Murugan and Surapadman are taken in processions. In some temples, the event includes a symbolic representation of Murugan's vel striking down the demon, which is met with joyous chants of Vetri vel, Vira vel, victory to the spear, brave spear. Kanda Sashti Vritham is more than just a religious observance. It has a profound impact on the Tamil Hindu community. Through this ritual, devotees renew their faith, seek inner purification and reaffirm their commitment to Dharma, righteousness. The observance also serves as a reminder of the importance of discipline, humility and self-restraint, which are central to Hindu spirituality. Beyond individual devotion, Kanda Sashti Vritham fosters a sense of community among devotees who come together to celebrate Murugan's attributes and legacy. The observance is also marked by cultural expressions such as devotional songs, dance performances and traditional dramas that depict Murugan's life and his victories over evil. The Kanda Sashti Vritham carries deep symbolism, representing the triumph of good over evil and the journey of self-mastery. Lord Murugan's victory over Surapadman is symbolic of conquering the ego and negative emotions within oneself. Each day of the observance is seen as an opportunity to overcome one of the six enemies of human nature – lust, anger, greed, attachment, pride, and jealousy. The vel, or spear, carried by Murugan symbolizes divine knowledge and protection. By meditating on the vel and invoking Murugan's blessings, devotees seek to gain clarity, courage, and strength in facing life's challenges. The fasting, prayers, and meditative practices observed during Kanda Sashti, Vritham remind devotees of the importance of inner purity, self-discipline, and unwavering faith. Kanda Sashti Vritham is a deeply spiritual observance that highlights the devotion of Tamil Hindus to Lord Murugan, the powerful and compassionate deity. The six-day fasting ritual, combined with prayers, meditation, and community gatherings, offers devotees a path towards spiritual growth and personal transformation. It is an opportunity for self-reflection, an act of surrender to the divine, and a reaffirmation of faith in the power of good to triumph over evil. Through Kanda Sashti Vritam, devotees seek not only Murugan's blessings, but also the inner strength to overcome their own struggles and cultivate a life of peace, purpose, and devotion. Kanda Sashti Vritham is often observed by women for various personal and family blessings, including seeking a good marriage partner, conceiving a child, and overall well-being. This six-day fasting and devotional observance dedicated to Lord Murugan is believed to bring about positive changes, especially in overcoming obstacles related to family life and personal growth. For marriage, many women observe the Kanda Sashti Vritham with the intention of finding a suitable partner. The fast and devotion are seen as a way to invoke Murugan's blessings to remove barriers in securing a marriage. Lord Murugan is often revered for his qualities of wisdom, strength and righteousness, which devotees believe can help bring harmony and support in finding a compatible match. For conceiving a child, Kanda Sashti. Vritham is also undertaken by women seeking blessings for children. Lord Murugan is worshipped for his role as a guardian deity who bestows strength, courage, and protection upon his devotees. 
Women praying for the boon of childbirth often perform this fasting ritual to seek his divine intervention, hoping that it will lead to the blessings of fertility and healthy offspring. The Vritham includes daily temple visits, chanting specific prayers, and fasting in various forms. Common prayers include the recitation of the Kanda Sashti Kavasam, a hymn believed to invoke Murugan's divine protection and blessings. By performing these rituals with sincerity, devotees believe they can overcome challenges and fulfill their deepest wishes through the grace of Lord Murugan. During Kanda Shasti, temples are beautifully decorated. They resonate with devotional songs and chants. Devotees offer special prayers to Lord Murugan. They offer fruits, flowers, and sweets to the deity. Many devotees undertake pilgrimages to Murugan temples. Kanda Shasti is not just a festival. It is a reminder of the spiritual warrior within each of us. We all face challenges in life. These challenges can be seen as our own personal Surapadmans. The story of Murugan teaches us to face our challenges with courage and determination. Just as Murugan vanquished the demon, we too can overcome our obstacles. We can emerge victorious in our own battles. Stories of faith and blessings. There are countless stories of devotees who have experienced Lord Murugan's blessings. People share tales of healings, miracles, and answered prayers. These stories inspire faith and hope in the hearts of millions. One devotee shared, I had lost all hope. But after praying to Lord Murugan during Kanda Shasti, I found the strength to overcome my problems. These stories remind us that faith can move mountains. Kanda Shasti is not just a personal journey. It reminds us of the power of unity and collective devotion. It creates an atmosphere of love, joy, and spiritual upliftment. It teaches us the importance of courage, devotion, and self-discipline. Through fasting, prayers, and rituals, devotees seek to purify their minds and bodies, embodying the virtues that Lord Murugan represents. As we celebrate Kanda Shasti, let us remember the lessons of Lord Murugan. His story is not just a myth, but a guide to living a life of righteousness and strength. The arti, the devotional songs, and the rituals all serve as reminders of these timeless teachings. Let us face our challenges with the same spirit of victory as Lord Murugan. His story encourages us to confront our fears and obstacles with unwavering determination. By embodying his virtues, we can overcome the adversities in our lives and emerge victorious. As the temple bell rings, signifying the end of the festival, we are reminded that the teachings of Kanda Shasti are not confined to these six days. They are a lifelong guide inspiring us to live with courage, devotion, and self-discipline every day.